hi everyone we are going to do a reading and see what is coming through so let's have a look let's see where we're heading and what messages and information i can give to you i'm actually going to use this deck right here one second let me just try and get it so i just wanted to mention actually before i start that if you would like to um, win a free reading with me check out the description box below since i do giveaways every single month this reading is for all star signs so if you're here hello and welcome and um yeah in the description box below there's also information on personal services with me um so there's personal tarot readings rituals to manifest different areas of your life black magic energy removal healing work and prayers there's also lots of other items as well for various areas of your life so you know, there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, embellished charms, candles, sage bundles, and teas. Um, so these are, you know, items, for example, that you can also put under your pillow or like your purse. Um, and then, yeah, there's loads of other items, thousands of five-star reviews at the bottom of my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to mention right now. Um, but it's all there. It's all linked down below for your convenience. All right. And these items are handmade, meditated with and saged. All right. So let's see what's coming through for your reading. This is for all star signs. Nine of Pentacles. like ending up on me okay so let's start with this for now now um the four here shows communication seven of swords shows that this person said one thing and did another um which can feel very frustrating for you we have the nine of pentacles here and the king of pentacles okay so what's really interesting is that they don't see you um as changed now that's good okay that's good because you know, deep down they feel that you are a very independent, confident, secure person within yourself. So that viewpoint of them, sorry, of their, of, of, oh my gosh, of you that they have in them has not changed. Regardless of what they may have said to you, okay, they always know deep down in themselves that you are strong, you know yourself, okay, and you're a great person. That view hasn't changed. Like they know that you're still that amazing person, what they feel bad about is saying one thing, doing another because of their own personal issues and because of just having a lot on their plate. The Fool shows that they will want to reach out to basically restart things, to create a rejuvenation, a sense of rebirth in the bond between you both and the connection between you both to really progress things to a stronger level. And then we've also got here as well, the Two of Cups. Okay, there we go. Okay, that makes so much sense. I definitely see communication. I see a sense of understanding. I sense them wanting to come forward and talk to you. There's going to be a very all-important conversation that is going to happen between you both in which you will talk. That's, that's literally it. You will both talk with one another. Okay, we've got the Tower here as well. A couple of warnings to know about is that when they try and communicate with you, if you, for example, don't talk to them and you just refuse to talk to them, then obviously that's going to make them go back into their shell and it can take longer for them to reach out to you again. So keep that in mind. The other thing as well is that if there is an argument, for example, if you start an argument, okay, I'm just saying, I'm just saying because with free will, you know, emotions can run very high. If you, you know, become very like picky towards them in, in terms of things they've done in the past and you haven't really gotten over that, then yes, it can impact how they then do things. So your free will plays a huge role. A tower moment can happen. So be very, very careful, um, but not to the point where you feel like you're always walking on eggshells. I think the main thing here is just be diplomatic. Let them speak, like let them come to you. Give them as much as they give you with conversation, but you don't need to overdo anything. The main thing here is to make sure that they communicate with you so that you know what they're going to do, what they're going to say, 
and look, they will communicate with you, but the main thing here is let them talk, okay? <laughs> I'm not saying that in a mean patronizing way, like you're not gonna let them talk or anything, but the more you feel like you need to do, the more you feel like you need to explain themselves, the less they're going to explain themselves in the conversation, you know? So just let them let them take the lead, okay? Give them the lead on this and um, try not to, if they say something that triggers you, try not to get to a point where you emotionally, you know, are saying like a million things to them, which can then make you feel like, oh, I wish I didn't say that. You know, I'm just saying this because some of you may fight, feel yourself feeling super triggered in regards to things that they said to you and did to you in the past. That could generate a tower moment and obviously you don't want that. It's something that's actually quite easily avoidable, but in the moment you can feel frustrated. But I just feel that some of you knowing this, especially when you have that conversation, it might just allow you to be like, oh yeah, okay, let me just keep things diplomatic. Let me just see what they're gonna say. Let me not get too overwhelmed. Um, that can help. I'm not saying that you should act unnatural, but you know, it's it's definitely something that I think in the future you would uh, you would regret having said certain certain things, you know. So that's just another important thing. This communication is going to come ex unexpectedly, which can really frustrate you as well. So the reason why it can frustrate you is because you might think to yourself, out of all the times in which they could have communicated with me, they chose today. That's how you're going to feel because you're going to be quite busy on this day. You will have many things going on. You will be so focused on other things, which I think creates that detachment energy, which actually allows them to want to communicate with you because they'll feel spiritually that you're busy and they'll feel like they're losing you, you know? So it will happen when you literally don't expect it and when you least expect it. So it's going to be very unexpected, which by the way, the fall is ruled by Uranus. Uranus is the planet of being super sudden, very abrupt, very, you know, quick to the point where you're thinking that is so spontaneous. What the heck? Um, so just be very prepared. And that can also trigger you to feel like, why, why now? You know, and you can feel a little bit snappy at them as well um, because there is a bit of, I wouldn't say temper, but like a snappy energy that can come through, which again can generate a tower. So be careful. Okay. When they reach out, just I hope you keep keep these things in mind because some of you really want communication with this person, but at the same time you want them to come to you, which they will. But when they come to you, you may just feel like really like this is just not the time. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And then after you have the conversation, you might think to yourself, "Oh, I wish I didn't say this. I wish I didn't say that." You know, so. And chariots, they're going to come to you. Two of swords. Yeah, you may find yourself just feeling like this is not it this is not the time honestly things usually happen when you least expect it so yeah i think there are times when you are free when you just want them to communicate with you but that's not when they do it but it doesn't always happen when you want it to you know yeah devil here as well controlling some of those impulses of things that you maybe want to say can be handy i'm not saying that you have to like hide everything but I definitely feel here that there are certain things that you might just feel aggravate you, you know? And I think that also shows that certain aspects and triggers need to be healed within yourself as well. Because if you're living in the past and they're trying to move into a future, then, you know, that's really important that you can heal yourself. Otherwise, you always take the past into the future and then that can ruin things, you know? Wheel of Fortune, they want to really change things along. A death card. See, death and rebirth. They want to move forward from the past after saying things, saying one thing, doing another. But if you're still living in the past and you still hold a lot of that energy of what they did towards you, then it does impact things. Of course, I'm not saying that, you know, you should not hold them accountable. I think the main thing here is that they will talk about things when they are ready in regards to the past as well. You bringing it up can definitely make them feel even more overwhelmed, that's for sure. Three of Cups. Yeah. You know, Three of Cups with Justice means that they've found the person that they want to be with, and that's you. Um, they have compared you to many people, but now they know that they want to resolve things with you, progress things with you, and if you are able to give them the chance, they will progress with you. The only thing I see happening here is that if you get really overwhelmed and very stressed out when they communicate with you and you don't like it and you get frustrated at them, they can just close up even more. Um, so that can delay things even further, you know. But they want to commit, they want to be there for you, they want to progress things with you, they're just going to take things step by step, at first they'll come to you with communication, but they may not say as much as you want them to, and that can frustrate you, but they want to first and foremost feel as though you're willing to even accept them in 
their life, you know, in your life, sorry, willing to accept them in your life. And then they will communicate with you more and more, open up more and more, progress things with you more and more over the course of time, rather than just straight away in one conversation. And so if you don't get all the kind of conversation that you want in that one conversation, then obviously it doesn't mean that they're never going to open up to you or express things in regards to the past, but they just want to go step by step to see whether they can feel comfortable also talking to you as well without you rejecting them. So sun here shows a great opening and positivity in terms of that, that will happen. of pentacles they really want to build with you move things along with you and progress things with you they know they want to do things with you they're just wondering whether you will accept them or reject them when they try and communicate with you and that's the thing is that they will try and see how comfortable you also want them to be and whether you are you know angry at them or whether you are too emotionally um you know emotional it, it can make them feel quite overwhelmed so they just feel more comfortable when you kind of don't when you're not like that basically okay <laughs> when when you're just letting them talk and when you the two of you can just build things on fresh but you know in time the thing is in time they will express things to you and tell you um very much so that you know i feel bad for how i treated you in the past i feel bad for how i did this i feel bad for how i did that so that is going to happen in time from what i'm seeing okay so this is your reading now of course if this resonates with you let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. Um, take care, everyone. I will see you all very soon. And this is the reading. All right. Um, yeah. I also have TikTok and Instagram if anyone wants to follow me on there. Take care, everyone. Bye.